Dress it up. Just stop loving you, baby. With him at the same time, look at his mouth. Don't look at mine. Look at his. Follow him. And he's your guy. Go to his side. Go to his side. You're gonna be my. You're gonna be my. Uh, my Dana S. Yeah. You're gonna be my backup singers. You want to do a really no, quick no, practice? No, 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 no we she, got this. She's got this? Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, love this. Okay. This is a, a soul song I wrote after uh, Aretha Franklin died. I was thinking about the song Respect. Um, Otis Redding wrote Respect. And he recorded it first. And then Aretha did it, and nobody ever remembered Otis did that song again. <laughs> like Aretha stole it from him, basically, because she was Aretha. And so I, wrote, I wanted to write a song. It's like a little homework assignment. I, I wanted to write a song that Otis Redding might have written that Aretha Franklin might want to steal. So. Okay. It's called How Do I Stop? It's on, we, we have a band in New Orleans called Lulu and the Broadsides and I wrote this song for our band. Robert Mache. How do I stop? How do I stop? It's like a drip, dripping faucet. I cannot turn off. Truth's plain to see, and it's killing me. How do I stop loving you, baby? How do I stop loving you, baby? Tell me. C'est parfait. Pay me no mind, pay me no mind, you never did, I was so blind, it's better to know, but before you go, how do I stop? Loving you, baby, how do I stop loving you, baby? Tell me, you had the mouth of a lover. It's 
like you don't know me. Thank you. 